Okay, all right, we're live. Hello, friends. It is Allison from wonderlass.com. Hope you're having a kick butt Monday. I'm feeling extra hyper and excited today. I swear I've only had one cup of coffee. I think it's because I'm really, really pumped about today's topic because we're going to be talking a little bit about uh, things that have to do with time management and getting more done in less time and getting more results in less time. We're going to be talking about all of that stuff and I'm really pumped and I'm going to try to not blow up my microphone because every time I get really excited, my voice goes up like 20 decibels and I already have a naturally loud voice and I know that that is not good for your eardrums. So I apologize in advance if that ever happens. I'm going to try to contain myself. I'm going to try to not be moving around a lot because I also move around a lot when I get excited and that is also not good for recording good audio. But I'm really pumped about today's episode because you know what can be incredibly rewarding and fulfilling? Starting and growing an online business, but you know it can also be incredibly overwhelming starting and growing an online business. It's true because you might be wearing 10 different hats. You've got multiple projects that you're trying to do. You're constantly adding to your to-do list. You're trying to figure out things and learn new things as you go. And you're trying to just grow your business with a limited amount of time every single day. And sometimes it can feel effing impossible to get a single thing done. Have any of y'all been there? Have you been there? Maybe you're there right now. I have for sure been there. <laughs> I, yes, right now I do have a personal assistant. She is amazing. But before I had a personal assistant, I was a one woman show doing absolutely everything in my business for almost 10 years. I was literally doing everything. And for a couple of those years, I was actually running two businesses full time. And so I had to figure out how to get absolutely everything done with the limited amount of time that I had. And that is exactly what we're going to be talking about today. We're going to be talking about how I get everything done. So hopefully it will help you as well. It's one of the most frequently asked questions that I get when people see me, you know, sending out emails and recording things and posting videos and doing social media. They're always like, oh my gosh, how do you get everything done? Um, and there's definitely been an art and science behind it into today, but I do want to throw in a little side note before I start talking about how I get everything done, is that don't be like me and wait to hire help. Um, <laughs> I waited way too long. These tips that I'm going to share with you today are going to help you whether you're a solo show or whether you have a small but mighty team, but if you are a solo show, please don't take me as an example and wait for almost a decade. I greatly hindered my own growth by doing that. Anyone who continues on as a solo show for a very long period of time, they are only doing themselves a disservice. Them and their business are growing slower than they could if they had some help. They are working more than they should if they could have some help. So that's just a little side note and I'm gonna do a whole nother episode on that because I just did my first hire a couple months ago. It's been life changing and it can be done in a tiny, tiny, tiny budget. You can get help for as little as like $4 an hour from having professional um, VAs from the Philippines. So that's like a whole nother subject, something that I'm really passionate about, especially now that I've crossed the other side from solo to having a small team. So did want to throw that little sign out out there me and going alone for almost 10 years. Uh, so <laughs> little, little, little nugget of wisdom right there. Um, but now I want to talk about uh, five things that I do to get everything done. Starting with a uh, number one, I don't try and do it all. Every single week, I choose one main project to work it on, work, work it on, I change, well, I work on it too. Um, I choose one main project to work on and that is it. I don't choose five projects. I don't overload myself with 10 different projects. I literally choose one main project and that is it. And that one, my, one main project is the thing that's going to move the needle in my business the most. So if I don't get anything else done, if I only get one thing done that week, I wanna have done the thing that's gonna move the needle the most. And for me, that one main project is always in line with my business goals. I always get really clear on the top three to five main business goals that I have for the year. This is something that I do every single year at the beginning of the year. Sometimes I tweak it throughout the year. 
but I'm always extremely clear on my top three to five business goals. And so that main project on is always in line with those goals. It's moving me forward towards those goals. And so I never choose more than one thing. And the beauty about this is, is that because I'm focusing on less, I'm less overwhelmed. I'm not overwhelmed. I got one thing that I'm focusing on. I've got, it's got all my attention. I go all in and nine times out of 10, I finish that thing before the end of the week. So then I can start on project number two. Heck, sometimes I can start on project number three, or if I'm on fire, I'll start on project number four if I'm on a roll. But the beauty is, is when you choose one main project, you just have complete focus, you're laser focused, you go all in, you get it done so much faster, and you feel so much better, and then you can move on to the next thing if you get it done in time. So that's the first thing I do. I do not, do not, do not, do not try to do it all. The second thing that I do to try it, to, to get everything done is that I prioritize my to-do list every day. You all probably have to-do lists, maybe it's piling up, maybe it has like 50 things on it, but at the beginning of every day, I sit down and I circle one to three things on my to-do list, absolutely the most important things. And that those three, one to three things that I circle are in line with that main project that I was just talking about. So if I've got 20 things on my to-do list, then I will go through it at the very, very first thing of the day, sit down and put a little star next to one to three things. And those things are geared towards that main project. And that way, if I don't get anything else done, I've at least done the things that are gonna move me towards that project. And I don't know if you're like me, but I have the tendency to keep adding things to my to-do list because I love the feeling of checking things off. So like if I try, if I keep it really simple and just put a few things, inevitably I'm gonna add a few more because the satisfaction that comes with checking off little things is like so great. I can almost never, uh, just avoid the temptation of continually adding things on to my list. And so this is absolutely vital because even if I go crazy and decide to add like 10 additional things to my to-do list, I'm only focusing on those one to three things before I do anything else. First thing of the day, I don't do anything else. They're my top priority. I literally ignore everything. Little side note, I sometimes even write on my to-do list, take a shower, just so that I can check off that I took a shower and it's extra satisfying. <laughs> do you do that? I mean, am I the only crazy one? But the prioritizing is super important and it's also really important not to choose more than three things because if you start prioritizing like seven things that you got to do that day, then again, you're going to start feeling overwhelmed. You're going to start feeling frantic. It's going to be harder to focus. You can always do more than those three things once you get those three things done. But really be ruthless with choosing just one to three main things in line with your number one uh, project for the week. The third thing that I do to get everything done is that I do not multitask ever, 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 ever. I used to be the queen of multitasking. I would pride myself on multitasking. I'd get really excited over the fact that I was great at multitasking until I realized that it was actually wasting a lot of my time. And you can look up context switching, it's a thing. Your brain actually takes a long time to kind of switch gears. Every time you switch a project, it takes your brain sometimes 20 minutes or more just to kind of catch back up and get back. If you're like me, I get really focused. And once I get into the zone, I am in that zone. If I break that zone, sometimes it takes 20 minutes or more for me to get back into the zone. And sometimes I can't even get back into the zone at all. So I stopped multitasking about two and a half years ago, maybe three. I don't know. I'm losing track of time. But it was one of the best decisions ever. I get so much more done when I'm only working on one thing at a time. So this means I'm not switching back and forth between projects. I'm not keeping my email open. Oh my gosh, don't even get me started on email. If you are keeping your email open throughout the day, shut that tab right now. Turn off those notifications. I never keep it open. I have all the notifications off. I don't have it open on my, on my phone. I don't have notifications on my phone. So I am going all in when I'm working. I'm not multitasking and I'm not losing my focus. I'm not having to switch gears every single time I switch projects, trying to do a million things at once. Go all in with your focus and you will get so much done faster. Literally, it's been life-changing for me. So that's a big, big, big biggie. The fourth thing that I do is that I 
I will sit down and create my schedule the week before for the following week and I literally block out the specific times each day that I'm going to be working and I also figure out what type of thing I'm going to be working on. So at the end of the workday on Friday, one of the last things that I do before I close up shop is I sit down and I open up my schedule for the next week and I actually block out the specific times that I'm gonna be working and what I'm going to be working on. And this is really great because then I'm not waking up in the morning being like, huh, what should I work on today? Or what do I need to get done today? Or what should I do first? Ah, I don't know, maybe I'll just go outside instead. And you know, like that feeling that comes when you just don't even know where to start. This kills all of that. I know exactly what I'm working on. I blocked out the time. And this is extra important if you have another job, maybe if you have like a nine to five or you got multiple jobs going on and you have really extra limited time. This is especially important because if you don't block out that time in advance, it's gonna be much harder for you to actually get that in. If you got a nine to five and you're like exhausted by the time you get home, if you don't have on your calendar it's gonna be really and I've been there um, I've been there before it's gonna be really tempting when you get home to be like oh you know I'm tired I you know I'll just work on that thing tomorrow and it becomes so easy to like just keep putting it off or just kind of letting it fall to the wayside and so by taking a minute and creating your schedule and blocking out that time even if it's only 30 minutes that is so much better than nothing and 30 minutes goes a long way when you're doing the other things we're talking about, when you are not multitasking, when you are focusing on one main project and you're prioritizing, those 30 minutes are gonna go so much more far than if you were farting around for 30 minutes trying to do 10 dripper projects and realizing you never finished any of the 10. So that has been huge for me and also, when you put it on your schedule like that, especially if maybe you are having multiple jobs, that kind of just makes it official. You really want to treat it, and this is something that I did, is I, even though it wasn't like before my online business was full time, I treated it as if it was full time. And I blocked out what little time I had in the beginning to work on it, and I treated that as if stone. I was like, all right, I am working on my business from 1 to 2 p.m. every day next week. That is set. I am, I'm doing it. I'm committed. And you just got to like set that aside, make that priority, block out your time and ah, so much better. Does anyone do time blocking? Like I'm obsessed with time blocking. So basically you're just setting aside a chunk of time. If it's from 10 to 11, that's all you have. You put that on the calendar. You actually put it in your calendar and preferably you are kind of figuring out what you're actually going to be working on for that time block. That way you're not jumping from thing to thing or you're not waking up feeling frazzled, wondering what you should work on. The fifth thing that I do for getting everything done is that I have an organized central hub for my business and oh my goodness this is and always has been a necessity I would probably not get anything done if I didn't have an organized central hub for my business um, so especially as a one-woman show as when, as when I was working for myself by myself for almost 10 years I would not have gotten anything done if I was disorganized if I didn't ha have a clear schedule if I didn't have you know my shiz all organized into a central hub, it would have been so much more just a, a cluster. And for me, when I was trying to do two jobs at once, when I was trying to transition from my wedding photography business into my online business, figuring out how to be as organized and efficient as possible wasn't just important if I wanted to grow, it was important if I wanted to survive <laughs> because I didn't have that much time. And so figuring out, okay, how can I not only fit this in, but how can I actually make the most of my time with little, with little, can't talk, I'm getting so excited, with what little time that I have, how can I make the most of it? And having a central hub is key. So in the past for my central hub, I used Asana. Asana is a free digital product project management tool. You can go online, look up Asana. Now I use Trello, also a free online project management tool. And oh my goodness, it is amazing. And I literally use Trello for everything. I use it to create my schedule. I use it to integrate my quarterly planning, which is another thing that I do really big on planning and 
I use it to organize absolutely everything, and I do mean everything. So I organize my passwords, I keep track of customer research, I keep track of all of my inspiration and ideas and things that I wanna check out, I keep track of important tasks so that I'm not forgetting anything, I literally keep track of every single thing, it, links that I'm always referencing, landing pages, literally everything. I also keep track and automate um, repetitive tasks. So there are tasks in most businesses that you should be doing annually, quarterly, monthly, weekly, and even daily to really keep your business healthy and to keep it growing. And so I use Trello to schedule and automate all of those things so that I'm not forgetting, like letting things slip through the cracks. Because when you are doing a million things, it's really easy to like figure, like keep it all in your brain. And so I use it to automate repetitive tasks so that I never have to worry about forgetting anything. That frees up a lot more mind space. I also use Trello to keep track of my goals because I'm obsessed with goal setting. I use it now to run my team. So I have, when I, when I say my team, my team of one, I have a personal assistant. I've been using it with her and it's just been seamless. I'm able to schedule her hours, schedule her tasks, um, give her her workflows and her processes. When I hired her, I basically had to do zero training because I was so organized. I literally was able to bring her on board and be like, hey, like go do this thing. It's all for you. Like all in Trello and all in, like I already had it. So I really had to do no training. Um, the communication in there is great. I use it to keep track of her payroll and her hours. I use Trello to uh, track and recover failed payments for people who um, you know, enroll in one of my courses with a payment plan or something like that. So that's been huge. I've been able to recover, uh, well, she's doing it for me now, but like recovering a ton of payments that were otherwise getting lost and literally more. So <laughs> I'm like getting all worked up. I probably have sweat pad sweat patches under my armpits because I'm being so excited. But having a central hub has saved me so much time because I'm super organized. I'm able to be super focused and I'm able to be way more efficient. And this has also saved me a ton of just mind boggling, just headache. And it gives me so much more clarity and it gives me so much more peace. So having a central hub has been absolutely key in me getting everything done. And by the way, if you're interested, literally haven't announced this anywhere yet, but I actually created a mini course that's available on my site now called Integrate, where I walk you through how to do basically everything that we were just talking about in this episode, including everything that I was just talking about in Cello with copy and paste templates and scheduling and all of that stuff. And you can complete it in a day. So if you want more on like how to do the central hub that I'm talking about and how to do all the things and get organized, check that out. Um, I truly give you everything. So like I just give you templates that you can use in your own business uh, and do all the things that I was just talking about. So if you want to check that out, go to my website, wonderless.com and just in the main nav men menu header thingy, you'll see courses. You can click on that or you can go to wonderless.com forward slash integrate. I can't spell. I think that's uh, I N T E G R A T A. <laughs> that was painful. Just wonderless.com forward slash integrate and you can check it out, but it's a mini course. You can complete it in a day so that by the end, you're going to have an organized central hub, everything running way more smoothly. Um, and that's literally, those are the five things that I do to get everything done. So just a quickie recap. Number one, I don't try to do it all. I choose one main project to focus on every week. And it's that's in line with my main goals for the year. Number two, I prioritize my to-do list every single day. I choose one to three things, never more than three. And those three, those three things are always in line with my main project that I'm working on for that week. The third thing that I do is I do not multitask. I literally shut off all the distractions. I never work on more than one thing at a time, which leads me to number four, a time block. I do this a week in advance and I am literally in my schedule in Trello specifically. I set aside the specific times that I'm going to be working and what I'm going to be working on so that I'm not frazzle pants the week of. And then number five, I have an organized central hub literally running my business, keeping track of all of the things.
it is time. It is time. We've reached the magical time where it is time for you to take action. So here's what I want you to do. You got one action step to take, preferably today. It won't even take you 15 minutes. And that is to just choose one thing that I just talked about and try it for a week. So maybe you're gonna commit to not multitasking. So maybe for one week, you are gonna see what it feels like to focus on one thing at a time. Maybe you're gonna set aside to work on a landing page and that's all you're gonna do. Or maybe for the week, you're gonna commit to time blocking. So try and just sit down and come up with your schedule for the rest of the week or for the next seven days get it out in advance, put it on the calendar. Um, maybe you're going to try prioritizing, uh, literally just circle one to three things on your to-do list. Commit to these for a week though. Or maybe you're gonna commit to organizing a central hub for your business. So you could check out Asana, you could check out Trello. If you want to check out my mini, mini course, I literally walk you through how I have mine set up and I give you all of the templates so that you can use them for yourself. Choose one of the things, do it, commit to it for overachiever try all five but don't do all five if you're gonna be overwhelmed just start with one and gradually add things in but they are pretty easy to do all at once so if you are feeling like you know what I'm gonna go for all five do all five things and that is literally it for today short and sweet but I promise you I I promise you, me and my cat, Mr. Purry, promise you that if you do these five things, you're gonna feel so much more focused, you're gonna feel less overwhelmed, you're gonna get way more done, and you're gonna grow your business faster, you're gonna get better results, literally all the things. I'm not joking when I say that I am obsessed with all things productivity and time management and figuring out how to do things as fast as possible with the least amount of time, and workflows, and just all of that stuff. <laughs> I don't even know what that was. All oh, of that stuff. So I am obsessed with it. And this has been a process that I have been refining for years and years and years and years. And I promise you, these things really work as simple as they may sound when you really take them to heart. So I hope that you, you found this helpful. Go on and do those things. Let me know which one you did. Feel free to tag me on Instagram or Facebook or whatever. Let me know which thing you um, Let me know if you have any questions about the mini course. You can just check it out. It's on my site. And that is it, you can do it. You can save time and do things and get it all done. Even if it is just you and your business, you got this. All right, well, hope you found this helpful and I am off. I'm gonna go pet my cat. I know, very important, but he has literally been staring at me this whole episode, giving me the look like, what are you doing? I need pens. So I'm gonna go do that now. I'm going to be off, but I will see you um, soon. And I'll connect with you in the next episode. Bye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and now I'm done and I'm going to look at some comments. So just don't mind me if you're still watching because now I just want to say hi, y'all. Oh, hi. Hey, Willow. Oh, yay. I'm so glad you took it. You took the course. Integrate. Yay. That is amazing. You never knew an online planner could be that useful. Yes, okay, you know I love a tangible planner. I bullet journal, I have a tangible planner available on my website, and they're great, and I actually still use them because I love to put a pen to paper. You can't do other things in a tangible planner. You can't like organize links and move things around and all of the other things that you could do with the digital. That's why I actually use both in tandem. I do, I have my Trello central hub, and then I use my bullet journal more just for like fun because it satisfies my creative needs when I like wanna doodle and write things out. So yay, yes, make the commitment to throwing multitasking out the window. I'm so glad for you, that's, oh my God. Just throw it out the window. Yay, awesome, great. Ignore everything else until those three are done. Yay, yes. Love it. Love it. One project. I'm glad you're... Way to go, Kara. Yay, I'm so glad you found it helpful, Marcy. That's awesome. That is amazing. Yes. Love it. All right. I love it, y'all. So feel free to tag me. Share with me what one thing you're going to do, even if you are not here live and you watch the replay and you're watching it right now. Tag me still and let me know. I want to know. I want to know. All right. Well, I'm going to end now.